What is going on guys? It is Tommy Boy and I am back with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my predictions for most feared Madden 20 and it's coming out very soon. So if you guys are excited for this, please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here and let's go hop over to Madden and check out my predictions. All right, so my first prediction is going to be a quarterback and um, this might be a little bit of a shot in the dark, but I think that they are really going to try to add in Aaron Rodgers here. If you guys can see here, there is an 83 overall Aaron Rodgers, and that his, is his only card in the game right now, his best card in the game. And you guys know Aaron Rodgers is, you know, a future Hall of Famer. He's a great quarterback. They just came out with Drew Brees for a mutt hero. Pat Mahomes got his superstar card. I don't think they're going to release a Tom Brady yet. Um, I could be wrong, but I think they're going to wait a little longer for him, for his best card to come out. But I do think this Aaron Rodgers card is going to be a most feared card. And yeah, so definitely try to stock up on some of his power-up cards because I have a feeling they're going to go up in price. All right. Our next player is going to be none other than your boy, Anthony Barr. Right now, Anthony Barr's best card is this 84 overall left outside linebacker superstars card. Um, I definitely think they're going to come out it, with a good one of him. His his power-up card is still a little bit pricey, but I definitely think it's going to go up. I would try to cop your boy Anthony Barr if you guys can. Some of these power-up cards, they're definitely going to, they're not going to go down in price. Uh, I promise you that. But Anthony Barr did get a most feared card last year, so I definitely think he's going to get one this year uh, as well. Okay, my next prediction for a power for a now most of these players that I am choosing for the most feared card I know there's gonna be a lot more than the ones that I'm picking But I'm pretty much picking the ones that they're probably gonna do a really good overall in like a 90 to 90 uh, I think 93 overall is gonna be the highest uh, card and um, We'll get to who I think that 93 overall card is just in a little bit But the next most feared card that I think they're gonna come out with is your boy Pat Peterson 21 reasons right here the next player I believe they are gonna do is even though he did get this heroes pack I still think they might hit Fitzgerald with a better overall a more beastly of a card um you know because they gave him this mutt hero it's making me think they might not but I really think that you know I, th I believe he got one last year so I feel like they'll do a nice little tribute to Larry Fitzgerald and get him a nice overall card so that that is um my prediction for him all right, so I'm trying to hit some different positions here. Wide receiver, quarterback, um, corner. They did, I'm thinking Pat Pete. Um, I'm thinking that they're going to do a Megatron wide receiver card. Um, he Right now, he does have this free safety card, but I think people were a little mad that he did not get his wide receiver card first. So I think Megatron will definitely get a wide receiver card in this um you know most feared set as you guys know he was the boss last year um he was the highest overall card so i think they might throw him in again this year but at wide receiver because he already has a free safety card next player i believe that they are going to do i'm gonna go with another wide receiver here um and i am thinking they're gonna do your boy from the new orleans saints michael thomas okay but I think that they haven't really put him in any sets yet. I think he is definitely um, most most likely going to be in this most feared set. Um, and his card is going to be pretty good. So I definitely recommend picking up some of his power up cards before they, you know, go up in stock. And as we are here looking at the Thomas, Michael Thomas, we're going to shoot over to Earl Thomas, my boy, former Seattle Seahawk love Earl Thomas right now his best card is an 87 overall and I think he deserves a better overall than that so I really 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 believe that they're gonna put an Earl Thomas card into the most feared set so yeah um Earl Thomas his best card right here is this 80 oh it's not even an 87 it's an 86 overall card for Earl Thomas so I definitely believe that he is going to be in this most feared um packs right here so if i were you guys i would load up on some earl thomas power up cards you guys might be able to double your money okay so as we move over here to my computer you guys can see this is the most feared from last year um here's are some of the boss monsters and some of the players that they added 
last year. Here is that Anthony Barr that I was telling you guys about. They added a Kelvin Benjamin last year, Calais Campbell, DRC, Zach Cunningham, Jared Goff, Jimmy Graham, Derrick Henry, Derwin James, Kyle Long, and there's that Megatron uh, receiver card. I think that if I was to make a prediction on who the main mutt monster is gonna be, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it is gonna be your boy, Ray Lewis. I'm thinking it is definitely gonna be Ray Lewis, um, mostly because he is on the most feared, um, you know, main screen right here, Field of Fear. Your boy Ray Lewis right here. I think they're hinting that he's gonna be the boss monster. Um, I think because they don't, they are, they like to add middle linebackers. So I believe that they're gonna add this Ray Lewis, and he's gonna be crazy. They love adding Ray Lewis to Madden every year, and this card is gonna be super, super good. So that Ray Lewis should be the main monster to get. If I could be wrong though, but that's what I'm gonna go out and predict. Okay, so some other predictions that I'm gonna make is that um, I'm gonna go and say that let's see if I could pretty much replace all of these guys from last year Anthony Barr I believe he will come back Kelvin Benjamin I believe that will be probably maybe either Larry fit or that might be the new Megatron um, Kalias Campbell I don't know if they're gonna add an end because they just added two uh, Melvin Ingram and JJ Watt but this could be a Miles Garrett um, I'm thinking maybe there'll be a Miles Garrett there. Cornerback, you guys know, um, we talked about, uh, who did we talk about? Pat Peterson, that is going to replace their middle linebacker. I'm thinking it's going to be the Ray Lewis of this year. Um, quarterback, we, you guys know we were talking about Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. Tight end, um, they also just added a couple tight ends to the Mutt Heroes, so I don't know if they're going to add any to the Mutt Monsters. They may. But um, I'm not thinking they're going to. And halfback. This is where I was kind of struggling on who they're going to pick for halfback. Um, I was thinking maybe uh, Adrian Peterson or something. Like something we're not really expecting. Like maybe like a flashback card or something. Like a flashback player and put them here in the monster position. Um, safety I talked about. Earl Thomas. I think they're going to put Earl Thomas there at safety. Not really sure about an O-lineman. So we're going to skip that. Now, for the Night Guardians of this year, they're definitely going to add a mean, mean Joe Green. 100%. 100%. They're adding a Mean Joe Green. Um, as far as tight end, I'm still up in the air on who they're going to pick for that. Maybe George Kittle, but they just came out with a limited time George Kittle, so probably not. Um, some of the Night Guardians, Harrison Smith may or may not make an appearance because he does already have... Um, the superstar card so they may just add Earl Thomas here as a night guardian um, There's that Michael Thomas that I was telling you guys about they'll probably bring back Khalil Mack He already kind of has a uh, couple good cards. He's got an ultimate kickoff card right now So I don't really know now. Here's who I think they probably most likely are gonna add as a night guardian again Russell Wilson does not have um, a crazy good card and obviously as you guys know he is a crazy good player um, definitely a lead candidate for MVP this year go Hawks and um, yeah so he is doing a fantastic job in real life so I think they definitely will hook him up with another card mean Joe Green obviously with a name like that you know how do you not make him into most feared but um, those are my predictions for you guys this year most feared it's coming out soon it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be doing a pack opening for you guys when that does come out on my channel. So stick around for that. But um, my name is Tommy Boy. I hope you guys liked my predictions and liked this kind of video. And no gameplay today, but it was still definitely interesting to go through all these players that I think are going to make an appearance. So um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And I'm signing out. I hope you guys have a safe and fun day. Bye. Bye.